of the opinion that, like anything else, there are two ways of doing anything. And one, to walk down the street one way, you can be recognised, and walk down it another way, you needn't be recognised. I think it depends how much you want to be recognised. You can, I mean, you can hire helicopters to fly over the church and make sure that there's video going so that you can say, stop taking pictures. You know, that looks, that's all sort of a, you know, it's a very kind of California thing, you know. Um, or you can just discreetly disappear somewhere and get married. Do you know what option you'll take? Oh, yes, of course I do. <laughs> is it the kind of thing you'll announce in advance? No, no way. <laughs> no. You think you'll just let it happen? Oh, well, it's happened five times, as you know. Right. right. Is this a case of I have seen the future of David Bowie and its name is Tin Machine? <laughs> Not really, no, because I'm also working on a solo project for next year. Um, but we went back into the studio as Tin Machine just before I started rehearsals for this tour, and uh, we completed an album there in that I... I'm over the moon about it. I think it's wonderful. And it's, it's, it's somewhat different in tone, in as much that taking those guys out of the California environment and putting them in, in Sydney, a place none of them had ever been to before, made them all go into themselves. And, and it, the whole thing became, again, sort of stuff from the interior, but quiet and reflective, but still with these very aggressive kind of guitars. So it's, a, it's, a, it's an odd, pleasing com uh, combination.